guys, welcome back to an episode of Steve Mortar and today I had a bunch of WD drives lying around so I decided to make a video about what exactly each of them are about. Now when it comes to hard drives in general, there are hundreds if not thousands of different options you can go down. Now today we'll just be focusing on the few that we have in front of us from the guys over at WD, but WD themselves even make many more options. So what do we have here? Well we have the WD uh, black, we have blue, green, red and purple drives. Now WD also makes for example pro versions of the red, we have RE, SA, AE, Black 2, VA, AV, Raptor and much more. So some of these drives are more specific. For example, the Raptor drives are very high performance and very, very fast, but they do have a lot of heat output and aren't very common in many drives around today because SSDs have come along and replaced them. But today we're just going to focus on these ones in front of us and really what tasks do they do or excel at and what are they specifically for? So we'll start off with the WD Black as it is kind of the one that I recommend a lot. The WD Black is a great drive for anyone who's building a system and can't really afford an SSD but still needs lots of storage and a a fair amount of speed. The WD Black is in my opinion a great all-round drive for many systems out there and will generally work with anything along those lines of being able to fit a drive such as this. They're also reasonably fast in the world of hard drives but again don't stack up to SSDs and they do come in fairly high capacities at a decent price point. Then we have the WD Green Drive which is another desktop class of drive that I also recommend very closely with the Black Drive because they are high quality drives and they're very well kind of all-round drives. As the name implies it requires less power to operate, meaning less heat output, and you generally find them a lot more in tier 1 systems. Whether they'll be full tower systems or all-in-one systems, they're very popular there, and even Apple themselves use them in their iMac, as well as their Mac Pro when it used to be a big tower, and personally, I don't mind them at all. Though they're not as fast as the WD Blacks, they do come in capacities of up to 6 terabytes at the time of recording, and they do offer a great way of storing your data. For me, I generally recommend Black and Greens again, as I said, but then you do get into your other options that we do have and we'll go into the blue options if I can remember which ones they are. So the WD Blues are in my mind kind of like their legacy drives. They do offer different capacities of up to one terabyte and these usually can be found in really cheaper kind of price points and as well for legacy drives. They do offer a pay to option as well as a SATA option for those computers who either have an ID or pay to laptop or something along those lines that like a desktop that do need this upgrade there. Again, Again, as I mentioned, they're at a fairly cheap price point, so if you are building a new system, maybe this is something you would like to look into if you're on an extremely tight budget and can't afford a black or green drive. As I mentioned before, they do offer things like pay to options, so you can go ahead and upgrade your older system of up to one terabyte. Now we'll move on to the red options. Now the red drives are ideal for server workstations and really NAS environments. Uh, being rated for 24-7 operation in high vibration as well as high heat environments makes it a very reliable drive option that I would really put into any server and I have put in any server I make. Now in actually using them for the past three or four years now I've never had one fail in actual deployment. The only time I've had one die was because I dropped it down two flights of stairs and the actual drive split open which wasn't the drive's fault for dying so I've never actually had one die on its own though there are obviously people out there who may have had that. They start at 750 gigabytes and go up to six terabytes again at the time of recording so down the line we'll obviously get eight 10 and so on and so forth terabyte options out there. Now they usually have a higher cost point because they are rated for a lot more workload but they do offer a much longer warranty of up to three years and they do have a lot better rating on them for stuff like server and NAS environments because when you cram a bunch of hard drives together they will create a lot of vibration meaning each drive receives a lot more vibration than for example a single black or green drive would when in daily use. Now they do have a pro version of this as what the name kind of suggests it's a bit of a pro upgrade where you get a five year warranty this time with a little bit of better certification and a bit more better support here and there but they're essentially the same drives except the pro one comes in at a bit higher price point but with three years as well as the five years warranty or should I just say five year warranty overall. Then there's also the RE option in this. They're both all server drives as well as the fact that these ones are designed for more uh, extreme storage tasks with two onboard processors which makes it a lot faster to transfer data through the actual 
operational system itself and really overall is great for the high-end server and even supercomputer market where you need mass storage but don't want to run it on SSDs. These range from again 250 gigabytes all the way up to 6 terabytes and can get real expensive because they're even more than what the actual red drives are. Now for everyday consumer use I would always recommend the red drives but you could go ahead and use the RE drives if you can actually get your hands on them because they're quite rare to get your hands on in the average computer shop so we'll just leave it at that and then move on to the purple drives. So the purple drives are kind of like the red drives but they're a little bit different. These ones are recommended for 24-7 use in a uh, well surveillance system offering ability to support up to 32 HD cameras streaming to them constantly and well just like the green drives they're also low powered and low heat output meaning that if you cram them into a less ventilated box where your surveillance system might be they will not overheat meaning they'll be able to record all the data just like the red drives they are rated again for a lot harder use than something like the black or green drive but like the green drive it does require less power so it's a bit of both worlds you could say now in saying all this you can use any of the drives I have in front of me in any of your systems out there it's really what me and many other IT people as well as WD recommend each of these drives are specifically better for but it doesn't really stop you putting your games on a red drive and running a blue drive as your primary hard drive it might be a bit odd that you're doing that but you can still do that anyway now WD does offer many other options and as I said at the start of the video they're a bit harder for you to get your hands on so the ones that I do have in front of me are a bit more common out in the market that I'd really recommend so when it comes down to it specific tasks each one has their own excelling point whether it be the legacy support of the WD blue drives the server support of the green drive uh, of the red drives in fact and then your all-round everyday usage of the red and black drives or should I say green and black drives so each of them do do something special but in the way they're all hard drives and they'll all store your data it just depends on what price point you want to come at and really what brand now WD aren't the only ones that do this Seagate for example has their own NAS lineup of drives as well as consumer drives so there are many other options out out there if you want to go down the NAS environment or your everyday desktop storage but as I do come back to this is a WD video so for every day I'd recommend your black drive and the green drive then for other more specific tasks the blue the purple and the red drives would definitely come into it but in all really if you're not into this service space or anything like that just remember green and black are really the drives you want to go with with an SSD now I did want to point out this video is not sponsored or supported by WD and they did not send me these drives I just had them lying around and I thought why not make a video because there is a lot of confusion out there with people not exactly knowing what all the colors mean so I decided to do a bit of an explanation video and really clear it up for anyone out there who's not very sure on what each one specific task is so with that being said guys like or dislike the video accordingly let me know what you think of WD's lineup is their name crazy is there too many options is there not enough options would you like me to do this video on other brands of hard drives like Seagate Hitachi Toshiba or any other brand out there let me know I'll be more than happy to do one of those videos for them other than that guys whilst you're down there why not give us a like or dislike I've already said that but also to give us a sub and check out cpmonitor.com for more other information about hard drives and many other things guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another video